Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today I would love to review this gorgeous wig for you, which is called Casual Curls by Tressalore in the color 613-1001-R18. If you want to know how the color is composed, what special features she has, how the cap looks from the inside, and how I like her, then stick around and let's get started. Now, isn't this just a gorgeous style? I have to say I'm absolutely in love with Casual Curls by Tressalore. And uh, I haven't had her for long. And I've just worn her maybe two or three times and really couldn't wait to show her to you. Now, I just said in my German version of this review that the brand Tressalore, unfortunately, isn't that much known in Germany or maybe even in Europe. Um, it's an American brand and I think it's really sad that they don't get as much attention as they deserve because I have to say they are one of my absolute favorite brands. And I have to admit right now, I only have two styles by Tressalure that of course I am going to show you both. And I have shown you others in the past too. And I will definitely get more styles in the future. And of course we'll show them to you then. Um, I think Tressalure has some really fabulous styles. They don't have a huge variety of styles. I don't know, maybe like 50 or so. Um, so of course other brands have way more styles. If you look at Ellen Villa, John Renault, Gabor, Raquel Welsh, they have a lot more, but I think the ones by Tressalore are all really fabulous and they all look amazing. They are very unique and uh, they have styles that nobody else has, and that is what I really love. Apart from the fact that they have fabulous cap features, impeccable lace fronts and mono tops, beautiful fibers, gorgeous colors, and I could go on. <laughs> but let's come back to this beauty here. Um, this is more or less straight out of the box. I really didn't do much. I gave her a little shake, not too much, and uh, then just separated the fibers with my fingers and with a very wide tooth comb. And um, I think I didn't really even have to use heat because this one has a lift straight out of the box and everything was perfect. So all I did was remove the zigzag part and then you're good to go. So this is also something I really love because I hate when you have to style them and redirect the fibers because they're all going straight into your face, which is something I hate and never understand why some or many manufacturers do this, that all the fibers are directed to your face. I've heard other reviewers say the same and uh, I just don't know how this is supposed to help you look good, but maybe I will find out someday. <laughs> but it's not the case with this one here. And also the others I had were very wearable right out of the box. Now, the style has really gorgeous, big barrel curls, which is something you really don't find. I don't know of any other brand, except maybe for Ellen Villa, that has a similar style like this. Um, you know, all the other brands um, have more or less just have those beachy waves or other waves or very tight curls, but not those big, bouncy, loose curls like this. And there are also other styles by Tressalore that are very unique. And I have one more to show you, like I said. And that is something I love because it's special. You look like you had your hair done beautifully at a salon or you did it yourself, you know, with, with rollers. And um, it just looks beautiful in my opinion. And it's so easy to wear because it stays out of your face beautifully. It's not a face flopper at all, which is great because of the curls, you know, the hairs support themselves and um, you with very curly styles, they hardly ever are face floppers. And um, then, of course, it's layered. And um, I'm just in love with this style, as you might have guessed by now. 
Now, when it comes to special features, this one um, features an extended lace front. And that's all it takes for me to say, yes, I want it. <laughs> and it also has a left mono part. And these features are really done so beautifully. Let me show them to you from up close. Here you can see that gorgeous lace front that is so beautifully done. Um, you don't see any knots. Um, it's not too lightly knotted, not too densely either. I think it's just perfect. Um, you can see through a little bit here, but not too far, which is great. And the lace front is extended all the way down into the ear tab. And also, um, the mono or lace part is done beautifully. As you can see, you can see through to my scalp and I didn't have to pluck. This is like that straight out of the box. And that is also something they do so beautifully with their mono tops. The density on the mono tops are, is so low and so beautifully done that you can part it wherever you like and you don't even need heat to change the part. It just falls into place because there are not too many dense fibers, if this makes sense. And all you need is maybe just the heat of your hand um, pressing against um, the part if you change it, but you can just, you know, comb it over on the other side and it will stay that way. This one can only be parted on the left, but they have quite some styles with mono tops and they are so easy to part. And um, the fibers react beautifully and um, you can always see through to your scalp, which is a really great thing, which is so important in my opinion. And this is the only brand, beside my favorite brand, Raquel Welch, that really knows how to do this. Because other than that, most other manufacturers have um, monotops that are so dense that it's A, really hard to part or change the part. You always you have to use heat. And then it's so densely knotted, in most cases, you need to plug to make it look more realistic. And this is not the case with Tresselure. So I am a big fan of their lace and monofilament features because they are really extremely well done and absolutely impeccable. All right, now let me show her to you from all sides. And after that, of course, also outside in natural daylight. So how do you like casual curls? Do you also love these big bouncy curls? Are you considering getting this one or do you maybe have it or another style of Tresselor? And do you like it? Please let me know in the comments below. Now the cap fits pretty average, I would say. I have a petite average head size and circumference and um, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to alter the adjusters and this just fits like a glove. I mean, it's not too tight, it's not too big, it's not a Rui cap. I would say this fits true to average and um, if you have a petite head, I'm pretty sure with a little adjustment, this would fit also great. And uh, if you have a larger head, you might probably also be able to wear it, but I think the cap is not as huge as, for example, Aesthetica or Henry Margot, or also some Raquel Welch caps. And um, yeah, I think the cap fits really very well. Speaking of the cap, let's have a look at the cap from the inside. So here's the cap from the inside. Here you can see that gorgeous lace front that is extended all the way down into the ear tabs, which I love. Then this seamlessly goes into that lace or monofilament part that goes all the way back to the crown, which is fabulous. Then she has felt covered ear tabs with metal stays inside. And the rest of the cap is open wefted. She has an extended nape and adjustable straps with Velcro, which I also love. So this is a very well-made, high-quality cap. Now, Tresselor has two different lines, which I think is great um, because they have something for everyone. One is called the Look Fabulous Collection, 
and uh, I forgot how the other one's called. <laughs> but this one here is the one with the heat defined fibers and the other one has the regular synthetic styles. And uh, let me tell you, these fibers really truly feel absolutely amazing. They are extremely soft to the touch and uh, they are just as soft as the ones by Beltres and really feel great but different from Beltres and also different from the Raquel Welch fibers. Um, I can't even say what these fibers remind me of. I think there is no other brand that has fibers like this. Maybe Ellen Villa. I had one style that felt a little similar than this but didn't wear as good as this one at all. Um, and that is the Ellen Villa Delight, um, which also has heat defined fibers. But that one is really the ultimate tangle monster, let me tell you. Um, sometime I have to do an update video to my review because I still think it's a really beautiful, gorgeous style but it tangles like hell and it looks really ratty after in no time like after an hour or so it really starts looking really bad and this is not only my opinion i have a friend who has two of these but that's a completely totally other story that i will tell you in a separate video <laughs> so these fibers really feel great they move great they have a great flow great movement and they are just so buttery and soft and not shiny at all. I mean, the Tresselore heat defined fibers are, I would even say they are a little matte compared to others. Um, this is really gorgeous. Of course, with that really bright blonde in these lights, it looks a little shiny maybe, but if you see her in regular daylight, you will probably agree that it's not shiny at all. And um, of course you have all the advantages of heat defined fibers. You can straighten it if you don't like the curls anymore, put different curls or waves into it. And um, you can treat the ends with heat when they start getting frizzy, not feeling as well, and make it feel and look like new again. And most of you know, I love and prefer heat defined fibers. And I must say, these Tresselore fibers are just amazing. Now, is there permatees? Yes, there is, but just a very little bit. I can feel some here on top and also on the sides, but it's not a lot and it's definitely not visible permatees. And, you know, I guess permatees is needed to give the style that volume so the curls are not hanging down completely flat. Um, and like I said, it's just really a very little and you can see it so I'm totally fine with it. Okay now let's have a look at that gorgeous blonde outside in natural daylight. Um, it's a little rainy and dreary outside but I think it's bright enough you can also judge the color in natural daylight. Speaking of the color, it doesn't have a name. <laughs> the color code is 613-1001-R18 and Stressalor describes the color as a vanilla blonde, white blend, rooted with ash brown. And that is absolutely accurate, I would say, if we have a look at the color codes. Now, the 613 is called French Vanilla Blonde. It's the lightest blonde, uh, right before the platinum and it's still a blonde and it's a very creamy blonde and in combination with the platinum it gives this really creamy blonde and the 613 has this vanilla color that has that yellowish touch but it's really very light and so I think this is just a beautiful blonde which I would say is a cool tone. 
I wouldn't say this is warm. It's pretty neutral to cool, but it's not ashy, not leaning gray. It's really a blonde, but really very bright. Now, the 1001 is the highlight color they used all over the style. And you can also see it right here in front at the hairline. And this is called Winter White or White Blonde. So it's a very light platinum, and I think it's even lighter than the 101. And the root color is the 18, which is a dark ash blonde, or it's also called lightest ash brown, as Tressa Lore describes it. Now, I love the combination, I must say, because um, it's not a dark root. In contrast to these very light blondes, it looks a little darker, but it actually is not. It's a dark blonde or a very light ashy brown. And uh, I love that combination. I think it's so beautiful. It's not too harsh. And, you know, like the other manufacturers that use an 8 or 10 root or maybe 12, I think that is all still too dark for that very light blonde. And I think this looks like a natural dark blonde that just bleached her hair and got a beautiful coloring. I think it just harmonizes beautifully and I absolutely adore this color. All right, that was my review of Casual Curls. I hope you liked it and it's helpful. If you are interested in this style or any other by Tress Allure and you live within Europe, you can get all of them on perukenglück.de Check them out. They ship internationally within Europe and they are my friends and really darling and they offer a really great service. And um, if you haven't done so yet, please also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos and there's a new one coming out each Friday. Now, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well. Stay that way and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. comb not the reg not the john renault not the small john renault one but one that has just like five or six uh uh how are they called um spikes no <laughs> and i think i'm i think i'm i think you i think i'm bought with that so i am a big fan of their lace and monofilament features now, if you want to see more styles by Tresselor, check out this video here, or also this one here, or just both, or the whole playlist. <laughs>